And I went from computers to the nervous system, and I came up with his painting. So I do paint stuff too, but that's the nervous system you see, and that's the electronic world, and that's the plant world. All of you are living in this world, so it's increasing complexity on planet Earth. It's happening. Complexity. More and more electrical stuff and tight and tight connection are between the human and that kind of stuff. But the link between the digital world and the neurophysiological world, which I did way back in the 60s, I do that today with a company called Magic Leap, Plantation, Florida. Now, two years ago, we could produce, you're going to experience something, you put our headset on, and there's a shark swimming around on a table. The shark just swims there. You can move your head, and the shark doesn't move. You can walk around a table, and the shark stays there. And if you're not responding the way I want you to, the shark will change its behavior. So me, as a neurophysiologist, I am looking and even extending this company, Magic Leap, further than they want to go. But I'm looking at all physiological ways for a digital system to get into this poor biological creature. So it's more than just a monitor, and it's more than just going into the retina. I'm looking at all possible ways as a neurosensory physiologist. The other thing I do, to take it another step, is to take the physiology out, closed loop into the digital system, and if you're not creating the response I think you should, I will change the stimulus to you. So. That's kind of what I do in life. But you see, I've combined the digital and the neurophysiological world, which I started uh, almost 60 years ago. I do teach excellence in evolution, as you can tell.